Senator Obama has a unique ability to stay true to himself and what guides him, and also to be in legitimate relationship and learn from those around him. Uh, and incidentally, FDR was a master of having discussions uh, and debates, uh, Hashem Shemayim, for the sake of heaven, uh, that he was known to assign different people to the same question to get different points of view. Uh, you, he could be heard at dinner conversations arguing with Eleanor passionately, and then the next day uh, adopting Eleanor's argument as his own. Uh, so it's uh, this debate and this willingness to, to, to debate and to be in relationship that I think this, uh, distinguishes uh, Senator Obama. Regarding the economic crisis we have faced in the past few months, Obama has consistently offered responses that are clear, reasoned, and exhibit a serious and broad awareness of the larger picture. He's called for greater regulation, among other things, arguing that it's an appalling lack of regulation and oversight that's gotten us into this mess in the first place. His health care plan guarantees everyone in America has health coverage. He's articulated a plan for strengthening Social Security without privatizing it. He's called for ending our dependence on Middle East oil in 10 years. He's consistently taken strong stands on torture. He supports a woman's right to choose, and that would be reflected in who he appoints uh, with maybe one, two, or three justices to the Supreme Court. So all of these stances, uh, each in their own way, work to make us more secure. Yesterday, my wife, Vanessa, was at the conference of the governors in, in Lake Worth. Maybe some of you read about it uh, or were there yourselves, where Senator Obama led the discussion that, um, among other things, talked about the need to create new green industries, which will lead to the creation of, of, of a whole host of well-paid, skilled jobs, and at the same time, address the crisis that the planet is facing. So in many ways, this is kind of a new, new deal. Uh, taking steps, as my great-grandfather did, they will simultaneously create jobs, reinvigorate the economy, rebuild America, and lead to greater security. It's the policy, but I think it's also in the restoration of values that moves me to put my trust in Senator Obama. And in the Torah portion this week, the part that we read in the Torah, it's the very beginning of the Bible. Um, it's the Torah portion, Bereshit, uh, where we read about Adam and Eve and Cain and Abel. And a teacher of mine, Leonard Fine, pointed out to me in this portion that the first, there's the first two questions that we read in the Bible are, where are you, when, uh, when God, God asks Adam where, where he is, 